Chrome Crochet Lefty and today we're going to learn the extended single crochet. <clears throat> Here is what the extended single crochet looks like. Now it is a taller stitch than a single crochet and here's an example of single crochet. the front and the back and you could clearly see the difference here like we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rows here and then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have thirteen rows here and you can see, and it's done with the same yarn, paint box, that's a chunky. So you can clearly see, and the same hook, the, uh, what is this? It's a J, 6 millimeter. So you can clearly see just the, the subtle definition. kind of reminds me of a herringbone, just the way that some of it kind of sla slants off to the side there. Um, so we will jump into this stitch variation, this stitch example, and I caked up some, this is also the uh, paint box chunky, and uh, I'll be using this. I think this is their Robin's egg, or uh, I don't know, I get all the colors, I mean it's a very beautiful blue. I call it a sky blue. That's my interpretation of it. So what is so great about the extended single crochet is it just gives that slight variation of single crochet. It's taller so you know you're not working you don't have such a small compact stitch and it is done in any multiple of number. Um, so you can chain up as many numbers as you want and in your set. You don't have to worry about uh, the math of it. So that's another great one. And it will make a great, any, any great project. I mean this could be a coaster. You know, change up all the little colors. I mean, I'm sure you've seen those little coaster um, patterns. What are they? The mug koozies or the mug... I don't know, but they're really cute, and they've got the little fringe on the side. Um, and so you could this would be a great little stash buster. You know, change up all the colors, and then you're set. So we we'll start. Let me start over for you. Start with our slip knot. There. And like I said, any multiple number will do. So I will chain up. Let's do. Uh, I guess we, we can just do 14. And of course I didn't start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I have my chain of 14. Now you could either, because the extended single crochet is a taller stitch, you can go with skipping the first two chains and beginning your extended single crochet into that third. You will get a little bit, let's see, what side is it? A little bit of little bumps here on the side. Um, I guess it's some little texture here on the side and as well just a light little texture here on the side. If you prefer not to have that texture, you can always do the chain, just skip the chain, uh, skip chain one, and then instead of chaining two on the sides, you'll just chain one. But for now, I'm going to chain, I'm going to skip my first two chains and begin in the third chain. So here's one, two, in that third chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through this one, and then yarn over, pull through two. 
It's very similar to the single crochet. It just has that little extra step. So here, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through the last two. The last two loops on your hook. Okay. A lot of the times when I'm working through the extended single crochet, I will accidentally think it's a half double crochet, and I'll want to add, you know, that, that yarn over. So you just continue to do that. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through another one, and then yarn over, pull through two. See, yarn, did that yarn over. So you continue to do that for the rest of the row. Okay, so here is your first row of your extended single crochet. Now chain two. Now because I am chaining two, I am not, I don't count that chain two because I feel that it leaves a hole here in my work. So what I do is I just, I don't work into that chain two at the end. I actually didn't like that ending chain so felt like it was a little too, or ending stitch felt it was a little loose. And because I don't chain into that chain two, I don't count it as a stitch, it leaves that little uh, subtle texture at the side. So I work right into that very first stitch there, right there. I will start my next row in that very first stitch. So I insert my hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through one, and then yarn over, pull through two. And I repeat that across the row. And you're inserting your hook in between the two. So right there, right in here. Okay, and then there's my, my first skip two, so I'm not going to chain into that. One and two, and then I work, I continue to work my extended single crochet across. So here's the very first two rows. See, just the, there's just a, a nice little texture to the stitch. Kind of reminds me of, you know, like the herringbone that I was, I had talked about earlier. So just a nice little different stitch from your normal single crochet. Okay. So and and then when you want to finish your work, you, know, you pull up your loop, make sure that you have enough yarn to weave in your ends, and you're simply going to cut. And then within this loop, you will take your end and you'll pull it through. Okay. Nice quick little video for you guys to brush up on an old skill or you know learn a new skill or learn a new uh, single crochet or extended single crochet. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did please hit that like button and if you'd like to continue watching uh, videos like this, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. I hope to continue to 
provide you stitch examples and if you have any stitch ideas that you would like to learn and uh, see on this channel um, you know drop me a comment below and I'll get working on that okay so I will see you guys later and have a great one stay healthy stay safe have a great one bye you guys